All right. So welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry, I'm at school, so I have to keep my mask on. And uh, welcome. Thank you all for joining. Today, we're just going to see um, one high-winged aircraft, one twin-engine aircraft. Uh, can everybody hear me clearly first? Yes. And yes. foremost. Yes. All right. Yes. Sure, welcome. It's nice to have you all again join this uh, short class we're going to have. Okay. So right at uh, off the top, I don't know if anybody can say what is the first thing you notice. <laughs> first thing, anything, anything at all. It's the propeller. single engine. Okay, single engine. Somebody said single engine. Okay. The one propeller in front. So does it use the single piston or a double piston? Yes. This is single engine piston. This is a piston okay. engine, but it's a single one. It just has one propeller. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then this. Now, what does this look like? Double engine. Okay. Multiple engine. Oh. Multi-engine, right? And this yes. as well is a piston. So this is piston, but it is multi-engine. It has one engine on the right and one engine on the left. On the left. Okay. okay. Yes. So is this a high wing or a low wing? High wing. Low wing. Low wing. Low wing. Low wing. Okay. This one. High wing. High wing. High wing. High wing. Okay. This one. Low wing. Low wing. Low wing again. Low wing and what is it? Single. Single. Double. Single. Engine. Single. Single. What? Single. What? Single. Engine. Single. Piston. Single. Piston. 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 Single. Piston. Single. Piston engine. Okay. And moving to this. What does this look like now, guys? What does this look like? <laughs> this one is good. Does 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 this look anything like the the tiny piston engine that we looked at right now? No, this is look not at the perfect. exhaust. Yes, look at no. the the size, just the size of it, the sheer size yeah. of it. What does this look like now? <laughs> Turbo. Yes, no. Turbo prop. Okay, this uh, is a turbo prop here. Turbo prop. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so prop means propeller, right? So yes, a prop is a propeller. Okay. okay. These blades, these blades are propeller. So today is just we go through each of the parts. Okay. So now you know, prop is propeller at the okay. front of the aircraft. This is. A multi turbo propeller aircraft. Okay. It has okay. two. Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, all the parts are going to be the same. So we can just do it on the small aircraft itself. Okay. So we can okay. finish faster. All right. So at the top here, this round thing is called the spinner. Okay. The spinner. Spinner. Yes. Okay. Okay. This mm. is the propeller or the propeller blade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Propeller or propeller blade. This is okay. what turns when the engine starts moving. Okay. The engine is inside here. Or, okay. Uh, sorry to cut you all like this, but I hope this, this one has an engine, but it just doesn't have a propeller. And I'm not sure. Okay, this is the pistons. If you can see them in here. Mm. All right, these are the mm. pistons in there. Hey, can you touch and the pistons? Can you just show us where the pistons are exactly? Oh, sorry, one sec. One. Five two. pistons? Okay, inside two. here. Okay, so one, two, two this side. And on this side also, there will be two. Oh, sorry, this is loose. I don't want to break it. And on this side also, there will be two. Okay. So they'll have four, okay? And okay. those pistons will be connected to 
this rotor. Okay, you can see them. They are this side. There'll be two this side and two this side. Okay. Okay. And mm -hmm. they are connected to this propeller, which is in front of the aircraft. Okay. All right? Yeah. Okay, so we've finished the basic, the front of the engine and the cover, this cover right here is called the crawling, okay? The what? Crowling. Crowling, the crawling. Crawling. Yes. <laughs> It sounds funny, but <laughs> that's the name of it. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. Okay. So there's the crawling. All right. Right underneath that, what do you think these three are? Wheels. The wheels. Wheels. Landing gears. Start the wheels. There we go. Wheels and landing gears. Okay. So the wheels okay. and the landing gears are the same function. Okay. To keep the aircraft on the ground. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, the aircraft was, it went too fast. I would have showed you a retractable Cessna. It just passed by. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right. So these are the landing gears. The nose wheel at the front. Mm -hmm. And the two main landing gears at the back. Okay. Okay. The reason why this nose wheel but is here is because of this hydraulic it cannot take too much weight okay mm. on any landing gear the front wheel or the nose wheel cannot take too much weight therefore it's always smaller and it always has extra shocks on it hydraulic system on it okay mm. and so this one is the sure this one the fr the yeah. it cannot be nose folded wheel. No, 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 this cannot. That one can be. That is a retractable landing gear. The big okay. one. Yes. I will go there just now, okay? We'll go there. All right, so this is the nose wheel. And this is the main wheel. You see, it doesn't have any shocks or anything on it. This is the strong wheel. You can land a little bit hard on these two wheels, on this side and on that side. Okay. okay. Mm. So, the main landing gear, the nose wheel, okay? okay? Together, they are the landing gear. All right. So, next, we go to the wings, okay? How many wings do you see? There are two. Two, right? Yes. Yeah. One on the right, one on mm. the left, Okay. The reason yes. we call that the left and the right, it's imagine facing this way, okay? okay? Imagine facing from behind. This is going to be on your left. That side is going to be on your right. So while facing the aircraft, it's opposite, okay? Yeah. All right. So we have the wing now. Next, we have the ailerons okay it's good. can you see can you see this small section here that is cut yeah. off yeah yeah just to the side of the wing all the way to here mm. yeah mm. just that much okay this is the aileron and is it on the left or on the right wing left left wing okay so it is oh. the left what Wing. Aileron. aileron, okay. Mm. This is the left aileron, okay. Mm. Same thing. Can you see this small division here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This now is the flaps. Flaps. Yes, this is the flaps, okay. Okay. This thing is the flaps. All right. It is yeah. right next to the wing. It's from here. Uh. Hello, sir. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah. The flaps. Yeah. Yes. I'm uh, just taking a small video for the aircraft. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, sir. All right. <laughs> 
or <laughs> there was the the chief flight instructor for the school oh right. okay yeah yeah he does all the testing and that is his aircraft the big one yeah uh, that big one there belongs to him yeah <laughs> yeah okay so back to the lesson this is the flapped okay so okay we'll come inside a little bit later but this is the flaps all right so it's on the so, left or on the right so which one which of the two uh, the aileron or the flaps which one does you use when let's say you are turning or uh, reducing speed or uh, increasing speed does that go end this in the end with for rolling this is to go the aircraft is straight this is to go left or okay. right okay ah okay. okay okay this one is used to uh what did we learn yesterday about the airflow so the wind that is moving on top flies faster and needs to go through more distance than the down going wind so once this one extends oh uh, one sec this is manual yeah. this is going to hit something no 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 okay there we go so now that is flaps extended do you see how it became big okay can you see the difference now this is yeah. when you uh, when you want to make the wing big so this is the flaps okay okay yep so now you see the clear difference of aileron and flaps okay yeah? yeah okay all right so we can move to the back of the aircraft okay this now is the ele elevator it has one on the left and one on the right can you right, see right yeah mm. okay so left and right this here okay this here is the rudder okay is the rudder okay that okay. here is the rudder okay okay i hope you guys saw that clearly hello man <laughs> okay so that is the rudder okay yeah. horizontal stabilizer and vertical stabilizer okay horizontal stabilizer and vertical you see they're fixed they they don't move yeah they are fixed all right so this is the horizontal stabilizer vertical stabilizer okay these two are connected to the elevators and the rudders okay is that part clear yes yeah okay so and this one sure the stabilizer can i ask Sorry? something on sure. the stabilizer does it have anything to do with the wind control or any other things yes so you see the airflow that that is coming from that way if uh. this stabilizer and this stabilizer were not there the airflow will create turbulence in this area and not let the aircraft flow straight ah, so okay. this yes so once the airflow comes over the wing it flows over this and these surfaces this one and this one help maintain the aircraft go up down left or right okay remember the ailerons one on your right one on your left those one roll okay they roll the aircraft these ones at the back they make it go either left or right up or down okay that is so your the ele elevator helps it go up and down right yes the elevator So that's this like one our, right here in the buildings what we have elevator same purpose up and down yes and this small portion here this small portion right here yeah just this small thing is called the trimmer 
Okay, that is a trimmer. This small one here. Okay. That is your trim control. What does that okay. do? This one balances. It's like a. Uh, it's an anti-balance system for your aircraft. Okay, so you see the stabilizer is straight here. So at some point in the flight, you'll want to fly straight, but you will still need to either pull or push your control column, which we are going to see just now in a few minutes. Instead of keep in, in to help you not fight with your control column, you have this trimmer. So if you want to push too much, you just push the trimmer up so it helps you not to push. So it's like an assistant autopilot for these small aircrafts. Yeah, <laughs> if I can put it that way. No, your assistant autopilot for your small aircrafts. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. So that is, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. So this is again now on your right side, your right aileron. Affirm? Everybody agree? Right aileron, left mm -hmm. aileron. Yeah. This body that you see, yeah, the whole body, the whole body from here, everything, everything else, yeah, all the yeah. way. All the way. That is called your fuselage. Okay? Fuselage. That is called your fuselage or your body. Anyone. Okay. Okay? All right. So a retractable landing gear looks like this. We you know we cannot retract it on the ground, but <laughs> I can show you how, how it fits in. So once you take the wheels up, this one moves up, it moves up, and it gets locked there. Ah, okay. Okay. So all the wheels and all of them do the same thing at the same time once you retract it. Once you take them out, they come out, they come out, they come out, and they get fixed. Okay. Right? So mm. that is how the retractable one works. Okay. All right, now uh, let's go inside. Okay. So, uh, Roland, I thought you'd be playing the PowerPoint at the same time to make it easier if you want. <laughs> okay. So, mm. this is the basic inside of an airplane. All right. Yeah. Okay. Your six pack. Okay. You have your six instruments. One, two, three. Oh, these ones look different. Four, five, and six. Okay. So these are your six pack. Oh, this one looks a little bit different. I don't know if, sorry, give me a moment, please. Please give me a moment. Oh, this guy's locked it. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we have to do it on this. Is the door for the Piper open? Uh, from on top. Oh, sh Man, I want to look for some other instruments and this aircraft is locked. Okay, anyways, we do the ones that we can see. Yeah, it's open. Oh, that one, I don't know all the instruments. <laughs> all right, so we are lucky. Let's go and see the instruments. Jum, 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 jum. 
Okay, so they're, they're still using this for relief, yeah? The beach craft right now. But, okay. The instruments are way clearer on this. And you see how complicated this one looks. Yeah? So, your six pack, you have one of them here for one pilot, okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six, sorry, uh, down there, your turn coordinator, okay, vertical speed indicator, artificial horizon, your altimeter, and your airspeed indicator, your basic six-pack instruments, okay, are they clear enough, guys? Yes. Can okay. you repeat again? Again, repeat the six okay. indicators. Airspeed indicator, artificial horizon, altimeter, vertical speed indicator, turn coordinator. And you have your, oh, where's your compass? <laughs> ah, this guy's all GPS in here. <laughs> yeah. It's all VORs and NDBs in here, but that's that, yeah? If I find it, I will <laughs> show it to you. The next one is your yoke. Yeah? Oh, this thing is heavy. So this one helps you go left right, you can pull it up and you can push it down, right? Your yoke. Your yoke. Yoke, Y-O-K-E, yoke. Ah, yoke, okay. Yes, all right? Okay. Down there, can you see two pedals? Yeah. Yes. Those are your rudder pedals. Okay. All right. Those one help control the rudders at uh, at the back of your aircraft. Yeah, for yawing left and right. Okay. Okay. Ooh. So those are your two. What about the red ones? Oh, the red one. That is your park brake. Okay. Yeah. That is your park brake down there. Okay, so that is your yoke and rudders. Okay. Okay, so that is all from this side. The throttle and all from this aircraft is a bit uh, still more. There is the black box. This There's aircraft still box. doesn't have one. Okay. Yeah, it's not required by. Uh, registration to have one because it's not for commercial purposes, yeah? Yeah. It's hot inside there. <laughs> All right. So the simple ones you need to know. Throttle. Uh, I'm not flying anyone today. No, sir. Your throttle, yeah? Mm. This is your throttle. Throttle is for what? Your speed to control your propeller. Oh, Revolutions okay. per minute, yeah? So if you put your so throttle like up and down. Yeah, there's a RPM meter. Ah, there we go. RPM. So you push this front and back the RPM goes up and down. It has nothing to do with your speed. Okay, so when you push your throttle, RPM goes up and down. Okay? Mm. And here is your magnetic compass on top. Ah, okay. Okay. This one has a directional indicator right here in the middle. 
the artificial horizon looks a little bit different. That's why I wanted to show you the blue color one. That one looks more professional. So this is another artificial horizon, but it looks different like this. You have your vertical speed indicator, turn coordinator, and your altimeter. Airspeed, directional indicator, artificial horizon, vertical speed indicator, turn coordinator, altimeter. You have your throttle. The red color one is your mixture, which means the amount of fuel you are adding into the engine. All right? Mm. So the mixture is the amount of fuel that you add into the engine. So when you push it, you're adding more fuel. When you pull it, you're pulling, taking out fuel. Okay? Okay. So same thing with your throttle. Okay? Push it up, pull it out. Push it and pull it. Okay? Then you have your control column. You see this one looks a little bit different. Uh, the park brake is not there. Where is your park brake? Oh, the park brake is here. Pull this out. And you have your rudder pedals. Yeah. Anybody can guess what this small thing does? Yeah. Park brake. No wheel. No. Landing Something gear. to do with uh, the stabilizing that somebody asked me at the uh, what it does at the back of the aircraft. Trim. What was the small portion? Trimmer. Trimmer. Thank Trimmer. you. There we go. There we go. Nice one, guys. <laughs> so this is your trimmer. Okay. Anything that has a wheel like this is your trimmer. So you trim up or you trim down. If you trim up like this, your nose. I mean, the trimmer behind there, okay? Uh, sorry, the, the, the light is a lot. But the trimmer at the back of your aircraft, I'm sure you all know back there, it goes up or down, okay? Okay. So that is your trimmer, all right? This is for your flaps, okay? So you see how I brought it all the way up and what your flaps did? Oh, okay. Okay, so now I'm going to press it, push it back down. You see how they go up and down, up and all yeah. the way down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now they're locked all the way there and they're all the way flat, right next to your trimmer. Okay. Nice and locked. I don't want to get into trouble after I leave. All of a sudden you fall down. Sick. <laughs> okay. All right. So those are the parts of the aircraft, guys. All right. Hello, Mr. Ross. How are you, sir? How are you? I'm just doing a small presentation. All right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So are there any questions about the parts of an aircraft? Um... Don't feel shy, guys. Ugh. We're, we're in front of two different aircraft, guys. <laughs> Okay, question now. Yes, sir. Uh, the trimmer, uh, the, yes, the particular sir. hand, is it uh, one for each of the pilot or? Uh, no, it's in the middle, sir. Hand? Only for the pilot in command. The person who's flying has to feel how the aircraft is performing. So okay. once he feels it, uh, money. One sec, I just want to show something. I need to take out this jacket, but <laughs> okay. Uh, there's nothing behind. Okay. okay. I just took out the lock. So, when you want to pull it up like this, yeah, sir. When you want to pull it up, the mm -hmm. elevator behind there goes up mm. okay it keeps going okay let me show it up to you like this it keeps going up can you see it go up and then mm -hmm. if i push it down it goes down so when i pull it up it okay. goes up push it down it goes down so mm. while i'm in the air 
if I want to pull it up like this and I want it to stay that high, but you know, I'm struggling to hold it this up. Mm. Now I will use the trimmer down there to assist me in maintaining that. So I'll just pull it up, up, up. So that will help me in holding this that that high if i want to hold it this much i will reduce the trimmer again a little bit down and down and down to just assist me in pulling it up or pushing it so i don't need to hold it here i can leave my hands and fly you know yeah. <laughs> like that yeah you are yes, saying sir. it's like almost like an autopilot and yes uh, that's why i said we talk we call it our autopilot assist for our manual aircraft because we don't actually have an autopilot <laughs> yeah the, i understand that yeah Yes. Sir. Okay. So it is almost like a handbrake. That one it holds the uh, steering at that level. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Let me just put the lock back. All right. I think it's set. Ah, and this one doesn't have a GPS, but these ones are the radio communications. Okay. This is all like the radio. It, it looks very complicated, but trust me, it's not. It's it's fairly simple. Yeah, <laughs> it's really fairly simple. But those are the basic. Uh, how to say? I locked the control. <laughs> That's why. <fine. laughs> yeah. So, this is your transponder. So you know when you go on your navigations and you're flying from one airport to another airport. and they say that oh you know we know that this aircraft got lost overhead that place they find you with this it's called your transponder okay so you have okay. to put the coordinates on that one no 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 you put a four digit code okay there's a four digit code that you put in uh, yeah there's a four digit code that you put in and once you put in that four digit code uh, my aircraft is not here Okay. Now, okay, fine. So you put in the four digit code here and then you turn it here on on there. Okay, so it turns on. Once it turns on, somebody on the ground can always find you because you are turned on into that four digit transponder code. So it's a tracker for you. Yes, your, your tracker from ground. Tracker. When you put that code in there, they know that it's you. You know, mm. and they will give it to you. You don't put it yourself. Mm. Yeah, unless you're training. Then for all training flights, it's the same. Yeah. Each plane has a different code. Sorry. Each plane has a different code. Ah uh, no, that is if you are okay. uh to explain that talking about registration no 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 like uh okay. the, filling in the flight plan right? so once a aircraft um says any aircraft that goes from one airport to another airport they have to tell 30 minutes before they leave okay that's why i said for training if you're training you don't need to inform anybody So your four-digit code will be two thousand two zero zero zero. Okay. Okay. So that that means you're going for training. Once you have called in the civil aviation authority, and you have told them that, hey guys, you know what? At ten o'clock today, I want to take this aircraft, which is a high-wing aircraft, a Charlie, a Cessna one seven two. All right. it is me alone i'm going to fly from here to cape town okay approximately i'm going to take about 5 hours uh i want to fly at 8500 feet please give me clearance okay so they will take in the flight plan and they will check who is who is flying on that route at 8:30 the time that you said you want to fly okay nobody is there this is for this guy at 8:30 tomorrow morning fine so once you come in tomorrow morning and you get into your aircraft you start up and everything you remind them hey guys this is the same guy who called yesterday i filled in my flight plan 
you guys gave me this code and that is my registration. So now they will put in and give you a four digit code. It might be 2433 or 1824, you know, whatever it is, you put it in here. Once you put that code inside here and you put it on, they can track you sitting in this aircraft doing whatever you're doing, especially how fast you're going and how high you're going and in what direction you're going. Okay? Okay. So for, so for yeah. training, they don't need to know what all you're doing because, you know, as students, you do a lot of mistakes and all that stuff. So they don't need to keep track of you like that. So that's why they are designated areas for training. But once you're flying from one point to another point, they need to know where you are in the air. You can't simply just fly anywhere. Yeah? They need to know where you're actually going. Okay? So once that is done and they establish that, then they give you the four-digit code. Once you get the four-digit code, you're home free. You just put it any time in your flight if you need assistance. You just tell them. Like, you see, this is... Z-S-C-Z-G, okay? So in aviation terms, we have what you call alpha pneumatics. Okay, so this registration will be Zulu, Sierra, Charlie, Zulu, Golf. So you tell them that this is Charlie, Zulu, Golf. I am lost, I am lost, I am lost, okay? Sorry, they're closing up the school. <laughs> okay, so since you have put in uh, you have put in that code or that transponder, yeah? Since you have put in that transponder code inside the transponder, they can find you and they will assist you and tell you, okay, in the next 10 minutes, turn left. Or in the next 10, uh, 15 minutes, turn right. Don't go as fast as you're going. Come down from eight, you know? That is how the transponder works. Yeah. All right, any other questions? Um, um, excuse me, uh, can you also like tell about air routes? Like how do we know that the same or different other planes will be going in the same route, in the same height, in the same direction at the same time? Because like if it is um, ground, we know that there's road, but if it's the air, like how do we know the other also will fly the same route? Like it's okay. in the air. <laughs> <laughs> that is a nice question Every, everybody asks that you have no you have no roads in the air how do you guys know which way to go okay so we have something called a heading okay. we have okay. something called a heading so you saw those six pack instruments yeah money we can go yeah, yeah yeah okay so we have those six packs of instruments yeah so in yeah. that six pack you have something called a directional indicator yeah okay so yeah. every point in the flight you will be flying some heading in that directional indicator right either it'll be yeah. left right and that directional indicator it's a circle right so it means it has 360 degrees yes right okay so in that 360 degrees you'll be going a particular heading according to that heading they will give you how high you need to go okay. and according to where you're going yes so like how we studied, yeah, there are different classes of aircrafts. So yes. this class of aircraft that we saw, we saw two different, uh, sorry, we saw three different classes actually, yeah? We saw yes. a single piston engine, we saw a multi-piston engine, and we saw a turboprop and a multi-engine turboprop, yeah? Yes. So the turboprop will get way different clearance than what a piston engine will get if it's going from point A to point B. Yeah. yeah, because it can fly faster, it can fly higher, and you can get there quicker. So if it flies at the same height as a piston engine, it will just be disturbance for piston engines to get out of the way or having to look out for traffic or, you know, things like that. So according to your class or the type of engine you have, they give you your altitude to fly at and the, uh, sorry, yes, just the altitude to fly at. Like that, that is the differentiation of it. So at two points, and so one more correction, yeah? If you're flying from in the compass, yeah? The compass is divided into two, the left and the right, okay? You, you can picture a circle, 
a circle is divided into two, a left and a right. So if you're flying anywhere to the right, you will fly at a different altitude. If you're flying anywhere to yes. the left, you will fly a different, sorry, odd even numbers, an odd, even odd altitudes. Yeah. And when you fly on the right, you fly even. Uh, even altitudes. So if you're going this way, you'll always be three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, okay. 15, 17. You know, if you're going this way, if you're going this way, you'll be okay. four, or even six, number. eight. Yes. So at two, yeah. uh, like at the <laughs> point of time, if even if two aircrafts are coming uh, towards each other, they'll always be a thousand feet apart from each other because of that rule of the sky. Okay. Yeah. So we have to yeah. um, arrows. Yes. Yeah. Not <laughs> so that is. That there is are also list. some. There are also some highways in the air. There. Uh, there are there highways? Yes. Those are for the big aircrafts who yeah, use it aircraft, daily. Yeah. yeah. Like Lufthansa, British Airways, KLM. Those ones they know that every Thursday. These guys are taking off from Amsterdam and coming to South Africa. So they are going to use this airway every Thursday or every Tuesday. So those are their airways. And military have a way bigger and different game when it comes to airways and airspaces. So we can't even, like, I mean, understanding their airways is always something very complicated. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if you guys want to continue or we can have one last class tomorrow. I'm not sure, Roland, okay. what do you think? Because we just have to finish the helicopter and the other types of aircraft will be, which will be maybe another 30 minutes. And then we just discuss the questions for the, uh, the honors part. Okay, so I'm tomorrow sure you want me. same time? Okay, tomorrow yeah, same, same time. time. Four o'clock is perfect, no problem at all. Okay, tomorrow same time then. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you all enjoyed <laughs> looking at the aircraft and the parts in there. <laughs> yes, we did. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.